All right, you cardboard addicts. This is another video. Welcome, EV Rosetta. Not gonna take long. It's so much going on. World Championships. Yet another European champion. U.S. is not having these woke shit politicians anymore, and Bitcoin is shooting up. And I have so much to do with card market. It's stupid. So no time. It's almost midnight. Gotta go to sleep. Gotta check the EV first. Two hundred eighteen on the market. Price including shipping to my door in Germany is 70, 80, 81. I'm sorry, 80. All right, round it down. Cut prices, real quick 94 Wood of Arcana in cold foil. The rainbow foil Wood of Arcana is at 55. So those prices went down. Legendary cold foils, yeah, lowest price here. Face purgatory. Average at 64.96. Now finally, Rosetta cards are going down after the next set has been announced. Uh, the Hunted will be out in January. Well, people are kind of losing a bit of interest in Rosetta cards, and also this is not meta anymore, right? <laughs> um, 57 for the Rainbow Fall version. The Rainbow Fall legendaries on average are at 31.88. I shouldn't have kept all these again, but I'm stupid. I'm just collecting these. Did I say I'm stupid? Yeah, here we go. 574 Rosetta Marvel. The adult Marvels are on average at 10980. Verdance is back up to the most expensive one of those. Young mm, Marvels? Young Marvel Heroes. Aurora back from a super expensive 100 to 50. And then we have an average of 35 17. That's not too much, but check this out. Um, the Sigil of Brilliance is at 8990. This is correct, I double checked it. The average is at 21, 24. Right, EA, Majestic, Rainbow Voids, 84 call to the grave. The average is up to 49 as high as it has not been before. Right, um, Majestic Call Falls to share the first place, Adaptive Dissolver and Calming Gesture at 17 each. Keep in mind, these are card market low prices. Uh, these cards are too stacked. I'm gonna make it like this. And then the uh, Widow Veil Respirator and the Widow Web Crawler are at 10 each. The average is going down to 891. Euro prices, card markets. All right, Felling of the Crown went up to super stupid 39. Well, yes, it is foil, but 39. We have had no changes other than this one, 20, unsheathed, shooting up, 20. Stupid, it's, some of those are, there is not enough. Um, tomorrow, I'm gonna do the which set is worth to buy video where I'm just showing the difference between expected value and box price for all the sets that I'm looking at. I have already done these numbers. Oh, by the way, I'm, I'm uploading this tomorrow more tomorrow evening. So on Thursday, and then when I come home, I'm going to do the other video. So there's going to be two in a row where, um, spoiler alert, Bright lights went up. I have shown you a, a, a EV alert on the thumbnail, so keep that in mind. Here we go. Non-foil, Majestics, Felling of the Crown, first place. The average is four euros and five cents. This one right here is unsheathed for 13, fifth place. We will see where that leads us. So, expected value, real quick. A bunch of cards. If you open one box, on average, you will get cards which are not too valuable because there's not too many of those per box. Um, yeah, favorite Rainbow Fall 113, Majestic Cold Falls 127, Rosetta 133. If my pull rates are correct, I still haven't gotten, you know, data of thousands of boxes being opened. If you have an information or a source, let me know. Favorite Cold Fall 1, this is wrong, 133. And Rosetta is at 143. Wrong, wrong way around. Don't matter. Majestic Rainbow Foil Extended Arts, 233 per box. This is just pennies and it's basically not worth talking about. And then we have Marvel Young's down to 334. 
335, I'm sorry. Uh, gosh, Marvel Adults for 392 per box. Legendary Code for 399. Sigil Marvels for 455. And the Legendary Rainbow Folds. Well, those at 797 still. Majestic Rainbow Falls 1067 and Majestic Non Falls 2441. So if you can get this box for roundabout 70, I think it's worth opening this. But the box price right now is 80. So difference between the box price of 80 and the expected value of 6644 is still okay-ish but you see the trend those single card prices seem to go down on average yes some go up but that's what i'm doing these numbers for we just want to know is it worth to open these boxes right if you enjoy rosetta if you play these heroes it's still cool just losing 15 and a half bucks i think it really is especially since these 80 is just one box including shipping if you buy, you know, a case and get a good deal, then this could go come down to like 75, 76-ish. But yeah, that's it for now. Have a good night. Thanks for watching. Peace.